You ever wonder how something can be dying inside you and you feel absolutely nothing? That's what makes kidney disease so terrifying. It doesn't start with pain. It starts with silence, a silence that can steal half your kidney function before you even notice a single symptom. And by the time most people realize something's wrong when their ankles swell, when their blood pressure won't calm down, when their energy just disappears, years of damage have already been done. I'm Dr. Ethan Cole, and I've spent over 20 years watching that same story repeat itself again and again. Good people, smart people who thought they were doing everything right, drinking water, avoiding salt, taking their medications, yet still ended up with exhausted kidneys struggling to keep up. And it's not their fault. Nobody ever told them that the food they add to their plate matters just as much as what they cut out. Because, here's the truth, after 60, your kidneys have filtered more than a million gallons of blood in your lifetime. They've carried you through decades of meals, stress medication, and time itself. They're strong, but they're tired. And if you don't start protecting them now, the decline doesn't just continue, it accelerates. But here's the part almost no one talks about. You don't need exotic supplements or impossible diets to give your kidneys relief. You just need the right vegetables, simple everyday foods that act like tiny bodyguards inside your bloodstream, lowering inflammation, easing pressure, and helping those filters breathe again. The secret isn't in restriction, it's in addition. So today I'm going to show you how. We'll walk through five of the most powerful, kidney-friendly vegetables you can find in any grocery store. Vegetables that can quietly protect your kidneys, stabilize your energy, and even help lower creatinine naturally. And we'll start with one that almost everyone overlooks, yet it might just be the gentlest lifesaver on your plate. Because sometimes the most ordinary food can do the most extraordinary healing, and once you understand why you'll never look at your dinner table the same way again. You know one of the hardest parts about kidney decline is that it rarely announces itself. There's no flashing red light, no sudden alarm, no pain that makes you rush to the hospital. Your kidneys simply work harder and harder, quietly cleaning your blood, until one day they can't keep up anymore. That's why I call kidney damage the silent overload. It sneaks in behind the noise of everyday life, the stress, the fast meals, the late night snacks, the medications you've taken for decades. Each one adds just a few more pages to the stack of paperwork your kidneys have to process every single day. I remember one patient, George, 72 years old, who came to me complaining that he just didn't feel like himself anymore. He wasn't in pain. He was just tired all the time. His ankles were swelling after dinner. His blood pressure was creeping up and his skin itched at night. For months, he thought it was just aging. But when we ran his labs, his creatinine had climbed higher than he ever imagined and his filtration rate had dropped below 60. The shocking part, he still had no idea his kidneys were under that much strain. That's the reality for millions of older adults. According to the National Kidney Foundation, one in seven Americans already has some stage of chronic kidney disease, and nearly 90% of them don't even know it. The kidneys are masters of compensation. They keep doing their job, even when they're half damaged. But that strength can be a curse because it hides the danger until it's almost too late. Studies show that by the time you feel the symptoms, fatigue, swelling, shortness of breath, you may have already lost up to 50% of your filtering power. That's not fear-mongering. That's physiology. And it's not just about getting older. Everyday habits push the kidneys closer to exhaustion, processed salt that raises blood pressure, sugary drinks that spike insulin, and inflammation painkillers that constrict blood flow through the nephrons, the microscopic filters inside your kidneys. Each habit is like tightening a valve just a little bit more until those filters start suffocating. The good news, the moment you take the pressure off the kidneys, begin to recover. Not perfectly, but enough to slow the slide and sometimes even to reverse it. That's where food becomes your most powerful medicine. You can't buy a new pair of kidneys, but you can change the chemistry of the ones you have. The right vegetables can literally cool inflammation at the cellular level lighten the mineral load, and give those overworked filters the chance to breathe again. I've seen it happen in real patients, not from drastic diets, but from simple swaps that anyone can make. Because healing your kidneys isn't about deprivation. It's about intelligent addition, adding the foods that support the system, not suffocate it. So if you've ever felt that heavy fatigue that just won't go away, 
or notice swelling after salty meals, don't ignore it. Your body might be whispering what your labs haven't yet shown that your kidneys are asking for help. And in a moment, I'll show you one of the simplest, most overlooked vegetables that can quietly lower inflammation and take the strain off your kidneys starting this week. But only knowing this isn't enough because there's another even more dangerous factor that almost everyone overlooks. Now that you understand how silent that overload can be, let's turn the spotlight on one of the simplest foods that can start lifting that weight right now. You've seen it a hundred times at family dinners, sitting quietly next to mashed potatoes and gravy, never stealing attention, the humble green bean. Most people overlook it because it doesn't look superfood enough. No bright color, no trendy label. But sometimes the most unassuming foods are the ones quietly saving lives. I'll never forget the first time I noticed its impact in real life. A patient named Robert, 70 years old, retired truck driver, proud grandpa of four, came in with swollen feet and constant fatigue. He told me, Doc, I eat vegetables every day, spinach, potatoes, tomatoes, all the healthy stuff. The problem was his so-called healthy choices were loaded with potassium and phosphorus minerals that a struggling kidney simply can't clear fast enough. His blood tests confirmed it, potassium off the charts, creatinine climbing. Instead of adding another pill, I asked him to make one tiny change swap those healthy veggies for a side of steamed green beans three nights a week. Within six weeks, the results were undeniable. His potassium normalized the swelling in his legs faded. And for the first time in months, he said he woke up feeling light. That wasn't magic, it was chemistry. Green beans are naturally low in potassium, phosphorus, and sodium, the three minerals that overload damaged kidneys. At the same time, they're rich in vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant that reduces oxidative stress, one of the main drivers of kidney cell damage. Think of oxidative stress like rust building up inside your body. Vitamin C is the polish that keeps the metal clean. Science backs this up. A 2023 study in the Journal of Renal Nutrition found that older adults who increased their intake of low-potassium, antioxidant-rich vegetables like green beans improved kidney filtration by nearly 8% over 12 weeks. That may sound small, but in kidney health, even a few percentage points can delay dialysis for years. And it's not just vitamin C doing the heavy lifting. Green beans also provide vitamin K for bone and blood health folate, to prevent anemia and soluble fiber that feeds gut bacteria. When your gut works better, fewer toxins leak back into your bloodstream and your kidneys get a well-deserved break. The best part, you don't need a complicated recipe. Steam them lightly to preserve the nutrients, toss them in olive oil with a squeeze of lemon or saute them gently with garlic and fresh herbs instead of salt. Even blending them into a light soup can soothe digestion for seniors. Every bite is like giving your kidneys a deep breath of fresh air. So if you've ever thought green beans were boring, think again. They might be the easiest kidney therapy sitting right in your fridge. And just between us, this is only the beginning. Because the next vegetable we're about to uncover doesn't just protect your kidneys. It actively helps detoxify your blood and strengthen your immune system. But only knowing this isn't enough because there's another even more powerful vegetable waiting to take this healing further and most people have never heard why it matters if green beans are the gentle protectors that ease your kidneys workload then cabbage is the quiet detox specialist the one cleaning up the mess behind the scenes while no one's watching most people walk right past it in the grocery store it doesn't look glamorous it's cheap and it's been sitting in our kitchens for generations but what most people don't realize is that this humble cabbage holds one of the most powerful combinations of compounds for kidney and liver health on the planet. Let me tell you about Margaret. She's 74 widowed, still growing her own vegetables behind her little blue house. When she came to my clinic, she complained of constant bloating, swelling in her fingers, and that frustrating heaviness after every meal. Her blood work showed elevated urea, and a GFR dropping dangerously close to stage 3 kidney disease. Instead of rushing into medications, we built a food-based plan, and cabbage became her daily ritual, steamed for lunch, raw, and coleslaw for dinner. Within a few months, not only had her swelling subsided, but her lab numbers started to improve. Her GFR went from 52 to 61. Small changes, big difference. Cabbage works because it's rich in two secret weapons, glucosinolates and sulforaphane natural compounds that activate your body's detox enzymes. Think of them as tiny janitors sweeping through your bloodstream 
neutralizing free radicals and helping your liver and kidneys process waste more efficiently. A study published in Nutrients Journal in 2024 found that seniors who ate cruciferous vegetables like cabbage three times a week had 25% lower markers of oxidative stress and significantly improved endothelial function that means better blood flow and reduced kidney inflammation. And here's something fascinating. Cabbage is incredibly low in potassium and phosphorus. That's what makes it different from most green vegetables. You can enjoy generous portions without fear of mineral overload. It's also packed with vitamin K, vitamin C, and soluble fiber, all essential for maintaining smooth circulation and supporting gut detox pathways. Because remember this, every toxin that leaves your gut is one less burden your kidneys have to carry. If you're wondering how to prepare it, keep it simple. Steam it lightly with a drizzle of olive oil and lemon to keep the enzymes active, or stir-fry it gently with garlic and sesame seeds. Avoid drowning it in salt or sauces. The real power is in its purity. Margaret used to joke, Doc, it doesn't look fancy, but I can feel it working. She was right. Her energy came back, her legs stopped swelling, and she started walking her dog again every morning. So if you've been feeling sluggish, heavy, or bloated, especially after meals, cabbage might be your body's way of asking for a little internal spring cleaning. And when you pair it with other low potassium vegetables, it creates a synergistic effect that amplifies detox and circulation. But before you go running to the kitchen, stay with me. Because the next vegetable on our list doesn't just clean your blood, it actively protects your kidneys from fibrosis and scarring something no supplement on the market can do. But only knowing this isn't enough, because there's another factor silently accelerating kidney damage that most people never suspect. If cabbage is the quiet detox worker scrubbing your system clean, then garlic is the shield that stands guard afterward, protecting your kidneys from the invisible assaults of inflammation, high blood pressure, and oxidative stress. You probably have it sitting right there in your kitchen, maybe even chopped up for dinner tonight. But few people realize how this small pungent clove has been one of nature's most powerful medicinal tools for thousands of years, and modern science is finally catching up. I met a patient named Harold 68, who had been living with stage 3 kidney disease for nearly a decade. He was the kind of man who followed every doctor's order, low sodium, no alcohol, daily meds. Yet his blood pressure refused to settle. It hovered around 150.95, even on treatment. One day, I suggested something simple, add fresh crushed garlic to his meals every night for a month. He laughed at first, but he tried it. When he came back five weeks later, his blood pressure had dropped to 128.82, and his creatinine had slightly improved. His first words to me were, Doc, I didn't change anything else. What's in that garlic? The answer lies in a compound called allicin, which is released when garlic is crushed or chopped. Allicin is a natural antioxidant and vasodilator, meaning it relaxes blood vessels and improves blood flow to the kidneys. Think of it as turning the pressure valve just enough to let those fragile kidney filters breathe. A study published in Clinical Nutrition Research in 2024 found that daily garlic intake reduced markers of kidney inflammation by up to 30% and improved circulation in hypertensive patients. That's massive because better blood flow equals better filtration, your kidney's number one job. But garlic doesn't stop there. It also fights oxidative stress, lowers cholesterol, and even helps regulate blood sugar, all of which directly reduce kidney strain. And unlike most superfoods, it's both affordable and accessible. The key, however, is how you use it. Don't swallow garlic capsules. Most of them lose their active compounds. Instead, crush or mince fresh garlic and let it rest for about 10 minutes before cooking. That short wait time allows a listen to fully activate. Then saute it gently in olive oil or mix it into your steamed vegetables. This small ritual can dramatically change your body's internal chemistry over time. Harold used to say that adding garlic felt like flipping a light switch, not just in his numbers, but in his energy. He started walking again, sleeping better, even saying he felt calmer. And that makes sense because studies also show garlic can help regulate cortisol, your stress hormone, which indirectly protects your heart and kidneys from long-term damage. So yes, that tiny clove on your cutting board might be doing more healing than most pills in your cabinet. Now, before you think garlic alone can fix everything, Remember this healing is about synergy. Garlic works best when it joins forces with other kidney-safe foods. The low-potassium vegetables, 
the hydrating teas, the antioxidant-rich fruits, each one amplifies the other. And in just a moment, I'll reveal another unsung hero that pairs beautifully with Garlic One that not only supports blood flow, but also helps reduce tissue scarring, something most people don't even realize is silently happening inside their kidneys. But only knowing this isn't enough because there's another, even more hidden factor that could determine whether your kidneys stay strong or slowly scar from the inside out. If garlic is the body's shield, then cauliflower is the builder that comes afterward, patching, repairing, and rebuilding the cells that time and toxins have worn down. Most people think of it as the bland cousin of broccoli, something you eat only when you're on a diet. But inside that pale white flower hides one of the richest sources of kidney protective compounds nature ever designed. I remember Eleanor, a 65-year-old teacher who'd been through every health kick imaginable. She'd tried kale smoothies, expensive supplements, even juice cleanses. Nothing changed her lab results until she started replacing her mashed potatoes with mashed cauliflower three times a week. In just eight weeks, her creatinine levels began to drop, her blood pressure normalized, and she told me she could finally sleep without leg cramps for the first time in years. Here's why. Cauliflower is naturally low in potassium phosphorus and sodium-3 minerals that become dangerous when your kidneys slow down. But it's also high in glucosinolates and isothiocyanates plant chemicals, proven to reduce oxidative damage at the cellular level. Think of them as microscopic repair crews sealing tiny cracks in your kidneys' filtering membranes before they turn into leaks. A 2024 study in the Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry found that regular intake of cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower reduced inflammatory markers by up to 35% in older adults with declining kidney function. What makes cauliflower even more powerful is its sulforaphane content, the same compound found in cabbage but in a more concentrated form. Sulforaphane activates the body's NRF2 pathway, which turns on your natural antioxidant defense system. In plain English, it teaches your cells how to defend themselves better. Instead of waiting for damage to happen, your body starts preventing it. Over time, that can mean fewer flare-ups, slower scarring, and better overall filtration. And here's the part I love telling my patients, cauliflower is unbelievably versatile. You can roast it for a nutty flavor, mash it as a creamy low-potassium side, or even rice it for a light, kidney-friendly grain alternative. Add olive oil, garlic, and a dash of lemon. And suddenly you've created a meal that protects your kidneys, supports your heart, and actually tastes amazing. Food should heal you, but it should also make you happy. That's how you stay consistent. Eleanor told me I used to think food was my enemy. Now it's my medicine. And that's exactly the shift I want for you. Every time you replace a heavy, salty, high potassium dish with something gentle like cauliflower, you're not just lowering your numbers, you're giving your kidneys a chance to rest, repair, and keep you off dialysis. It's proof that even small delicious changes can have life-changing results. So as we come to the end of this list, remember this, these vegetables aren't just sides on your plate. They're your first line of defense, your daily prescription for longevity. But don't go anywhere yet because in a moment, I'll show you how to put all of these foods together into a simple weekly plan that keeps your kidneys safe, your energy steady, and your future wide open. But only knowing this isn't enough because the way you combine these vegetables determines whether they heal or harm, and that secret might surprise you. So here's what I want you to remember. Healing your kidneys isn't about being perfect. It's about showing up for yourself every single day, one glass of water, one meal, one small swap at a time. Green beans, cabbage, garlic, cauliflower. They're not just vegetables. They're proof that your body still wants to fight for you. Even if you've been told your numbers are high, even if you feel like it's too late, it's not. Every choice you make from this moment forward is another message to your kidneys that says, I'm helping you now. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Cook a little lighter. Move a little more. Breathe deeper. And if this video opened your eyes or gave you even one idea to protect your kidneys, don't let it slip away. Save this video right now so you can come back to it later. And while you're here, hit subscribe and turn on the little bell icon because every week I share new science-backed ways to keep your kidneys healthy, your energy steady, and your life free from unnecessary medication or fear. You deserve to understand your body to feel hope instead of worry and to know that healing isn't just possible, it's happening one smart choice at a time. I'm Dr. Ethan Cole, and I'll see you in the next video. 
Until then, stay strong, stay kind to yourself, and remember your kidneys are listening.